We've seen demand response work really well with heating and cooling control. It's coming to Australia. We're really excited to be part of this solution and really lead the way. Our project focuses on installing something we call the Zen thermostat in businesses and homes. On a really hot day, you might find that a retail business has 50 locations across the country that are all using their air conditioning. By reducing slightly the energy use, we can make a big difference on the actual demand on the grid. Over the last year in Australia, we've had a couple of incidents where demand has outstripped supply, resulting in serious consequences for the grid and for energy consumers. Demand response is an innovative approach to managing those issues without the need for investing in costly grid infrastructure. So this summer, ARENA is rolling out a three-year program of 10 demand response projects in New South Wales, Victoria and South Australia. Fort Demand Response is an incredibly innovative project because it incorporates both commercial and industrial customers, but also residential customers. And it's the mix of both that really highlights the way that demand response could be utilised in the future to better manage grid reliability. Energy Australia has been looking at demand response as an opportunity for the market security for quite some time now. And we've had a lot of customers who have approached us who are willing to participate, seeing the value in the opportunity. The demand response program is all about changing behaviours. So a business that has a process, they might bring that process forward and do things earlier in the day without having a material impact on their output. United Energy's demand response project is to adjust voltages on the distribution network from about 240 volts, which is the normal supply in your power point, down to 230 volts. And by using the smart meters, we can actually assess the impact that we're having on customers' premises. The customer's experience remains unchanged, so essentially all the appliances will be operating in the same way that they currently do. Enernoc is a global demand response aggregator, or an independent market participant that builds resources uh, in electricity markets that are dispatchable. Demand response is a pretty commonly utilized tool overseas. Uh, here in Australia, we don't have as much of it. Uh, this project by Arena should be the perfect first step to kickstart the demand response market. So the KWatch is a proprietary technology that we've developed over a number of years. It's installed on a customer's site and has a 4G mobile connection back to our system and enables the customer to see in real time their usage as well as us providing alerts. As a customer participating in the project, you could benefit to the tune of tens of thousands of dollars per year. PowerShop is developing a behavioural demand response program. We've called it Curb Your Power. Curb Your Power will utilise our bespoke mobile app system. So a customer will be able to take action by adjusting the air conditioning, for example. They will be able to see their usage reduced and they will get a power credit on their next electricity bill. So we're really excited about the Demand Response Program because we see it as a major shift in the way that we manage the grid as it transitions to a high renewable energy future. Demand Response is important in the energy system. It represents an evolution where the balance between centralised and decentralised resources will balance supply and demand. We see demand response projects like this as critical in meeting the shortfall of the market. Demand response can be delivered at about 20 to 30 times less than the cost of battery storage. Demand response should be one of the cheapest uh, and fastest resources that can be mobilised in time for the summer to provide reliability and, then, um, and make sure the lights stay on. Demand response is a big idea that's been really effective. It's made a big difference in the US market. Why would you want to build a new power station for those few times a year when there's peak demand on the grid?